Thank you very much for having me here, um, representing the European Union. Um, we've been working now nearly four years since 2018 uh, with our friends and partners from the GIZ and together with, uh, with funding from the German government as well on uh, supporting reconciliation processes. And I think the program over time has developed a lot of high quality products and tools that, that really helped um, bring forward reconciliation and, and social inclusion in, in Sri Lanka. Um, and I believe this uh, barometer is yet another high, high, quality, high quality product. Now, listening to you, I'm was still wondering, is this good news or bad news that we, <laughs> that we see from this first survey? Um, and I think it's a bit of both, of course, and it, it shows very usefully shows a baseline, essentially. I, I guess over the last two years, we heard a lot of science-based policymaking in the COVID context. And I think such a tool um, is extremely useful um, for exactly that, to help future policymakers, to help uh, policy debates on the issue, and, and to maybe dispel some misperceptions as well and some myths around the theme of, of uh, reconciliation. And so um, I'm very much looking forward to, to the, the, the work that this barometer can, uh, can inspire in the future. I can tell you already that uh, as European Union, we will continue supporting you um, um, through, through a funded program. Even if this program is ending now, we are working on a, on a, a successor program. We're looking forward to work together with civil society partners, with academia, but most importantly as well with the government. And so I thank the Ministry of Justice for their continued support and their ownership um, of the program, but also of this, uh, of this barometer. Um, while of course the secretary highlighted it, it's important that there's a certain independence in the future of these uh, public perception surveys and the barometer. So, uh, uh, so to give an unbiased uh, 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 picture of, of the situation. Maybe I can just add as well that um, for the European Union, it's not a coincidence that we are, we are supporting um, social inclusion and reconciliation. I think you can look at the European Union as a, as a large mega reconciliation project to some extent. We are, had centuries of, of wars among our nations within Europe. And it's only 70 years now or so that we haven't seen any major um, conflict on, on our continent. And, and we did this through, through various means. I mean, one mean, of course, is institutional. Um, the, the, the key industries of coal and steel were unified in the community for coal and steel, which now became the European Union that I stand here to, to represent. Um, Something else we did in Europe, I think, was people-to-people -people exchanges uh, between uh, nations that, that uh, only very recently then uh, were, were fighting each other. And I think that helped a lot. I mean, every, I'm from Germany. Every German city has a partner city somewhere in France. There were youth exchanges, school exchanges. Just bringing people together to talk with each other and not, not about each other was, was a key element, too. And then, of course, uh, um, it was important to change historical narratives about who, who, who we are, who our neighbors are. My grandfather still grew up um, with, the, with, the, with the thought that our neighbors are, uh, are enemies uh, by, by nature, by historical uh, need or so. And, and we managed to overcome all this. And so, um, not, I don't want to push the parallels too far, but I think, uh, I think in Sri Lanka as well, it's important to look at these narratives, to look at identity, to look at how people think of reconciliation. And I think uh, um, what you're presenting here today is, is a very important step in that. And I, I wish you good luck in the, in the future, for the future of the barometer. And let me again thank, uh, thank the ministry for being here. And, and, and I think it's important that reconciliation is something that is brought forward by everybody together, civil society, government, and we are ready to help uh, as far as we can as an, as an outside actor and, and as a donor. Thank you very much.